I doing out there in YouTube land? Man, it is a gorgeous day today. I'm out here driving across Nebraska. You know, it truly should be legal to drink and drive in Nebraska. Because if you get drunk off your face and run off the road, you ain't gonna hit nothing. <laughs> oh my goodness. But anyway, I am uh, on my way to Wisconsin. Woohoo! Oh, by the way, I gotta send out an apology. First thing, Trucker Nene, I am so sorry I woke you up out of your sleep time. It's noon, girl. It's noon. What are you still doing in bed at noon? Have you been driving at the night doing that vampire trucking thing? What is wrong with you sleeping in the middle of the day? I would, I would expect that a lady of your stature would have more discipline and control over her life than she could sleep during a normal day. Anyway, just thought I'd throw that in there. I also want to do a shout out for Coach. Trucker's Coach. Man, you beat me to a video there, Trucker's Coach. Because I was wanting to put one out on regulated trucking. And you snagged me, I gotta tell you. You snagged me with that uh, title on that video. Regulate Trucking Now. Because as soon as I, I saw that title, I was going, No! Absolutely not! No, we want a free market, a free life. Uh, whenever you get regulations involved, you know, it's kind of like the worst thing you ever heard. The worst thing you could ever hear is a knock at the door and open up and a guy standing there in a suit going, Hello, I'm your government and I'm here to help. The scariest thing you probably ever hear in your life. Don't do it. Yeah, we definitely don't want our industry regulated. A matter of fact, in the uh, words of uh, President Harding, the more regulation you have, the more stifle you do a society. So, I'm along, you know, that's what gave us the Roaring Twenties. Because he was to overcome all the regulations and taxes that were put in place by President Wilson. He ran on the platform to alleviate all that. That's the reason why the American people voted him into office. And that is exactly the reason why we had the Roaring Twenties. Everybody making money. Everybody living the life of a party. You know, that was it. That's what gave us the Roaring Twenties. More regulation, bad. Less regulation, good. That's my philosophy. I'd like to get rid of as many regulations as I possibly could. I don't know about you folks, but I'm a grown ass man. I don't need anybody to babysit me to tell me what's good for me. I am so sick and tired of people passing laws, regulating, trying to protect me from me. It's the craziest thing I ever heard of. I'm a grown ass man. I don't need anybody to tell me when I'm tired, when I need to sleep, or how hard I can work in a day. I really don't, and I don't bet you don't either. So, Coach, Jason Pope, I really appreciate that video you put out there, brother. Good job. Anyway, I'm not going to stay on here too long, but uh, I'm going to end this video with a little cooking video. You know, I cooked dinner on the truck, and somebody asked me if I would do a video of how I cook on the truck. So, I made fried potatoes and onions and hamburger steak last night. And I'll attach that video to the end. But, we're off to Wisconsin. We're hauling freight. We're making a good living. Couldn't be more happier than the seat that I'm sitting in. And stay tuned for my cooking video. I'll probably be back here at the end. Bye-bye. Wait a second. Not bye-bye. Wait for the cooking video. And maybe a little word of wisdom at the end. You never know. Hey, 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 guys. I had some people to ask me questions about my setup for uh, how I cook my dinner. Um, microwave's driving me nuts. Yeah, I thawing out a couple burger patties to make a little hamburger steak. 
Anyway, there's my little stove, my copper non-stick pan, and just about got the, the grease ready. Yep, it's definitely ready. Got me some potatoes. Here sliced up. We'll make some fried potatoes and onions. Anyway, get the potatoes started first because they're what takes the longest to cook. So we got my potatoes going. Anyway, I can't cook and video at the same time. But see that little uh, little stove top there? I think that was like 12 bucks and change. The skillet. Now I did step up on the skillet. That was like almost 30 bucks. And a little spatula. And I have me some fried potatoes and onions tonight and some hamburger steak. Oh, what else I'm going to cook with it? I'll figure out something. Anyway, this is the way I cook dinner, guys. See, now I got my onions all caught up in there. Fried taters and onions. Mm -mm. Just another step in the process. Woo-woo. Man, I tell you what, I've been so much happier since I've been cooking on the truck. And I like eating good food. Eating good on the truck. It's unbelievable what the little pleasures in life, how much how much they mean actually there we go guys dinner is served a little hamburger steak potatoes and onions that's the thing about putting something else with it but I think that's enough what do you think anyway we got the hot spicy ketchup to go on the hamburger steak a little bit, a bit of milk and water to drink with dinner man living large out here on the road guys this way you do it